There's a really big problem when it comes to working with data, a problem that really holds back what could be accomplished with the potential of modern data, a problem that is really a boon for data engineers. And the problem is the difficulty sharing data. It's generally agreed that data access has become essential to business functions, but it's still mostly common to have numerous data stores in an organization, most of which aren't designed to be compatible with one another. In order to share data between them, you hopefully have some well-designed APIs exposing data in bulk, if you're lucky. More commonly, they're clumsy, don't provide clean data, require row-by-row -row extraction, or just don't exist at all which then leads to exporting the data files and transferring data that way. Of course, there's a lot of questions that go into data sharing. Everything has different standards. Who should have access to what? How do you secure personal data? Businesses want to protect valuable data and much more specific to each data set. So when you get to external data, like sharing between vendors, partners, or business to business needs, it gets even more complicated. We already have enough problems when everything is on the same network. Now you have to worry about secure access between networks. And after overcoming all of this, you still end up with a massive complex network of pipelines throwing data around that takes significant effort to create and maintain. Interestingly, when looking at blockchain applications, they sort of accidentally solve for the data sharing problem. One of the examples of a solution I've seen a few times is the ability to follow produce logistics from farm to customer. I don't know a lot about this industry, but apparently it's been an issue. You can imagine a farm grows crops and collects data on them. Then they're harvested and shipped to a distribution center, which then gets sent out to stores, which sell them to the customer. Each of these processes has their own data collection method isolated from one another. So one option is to create data share agreements, build pipelines between them, and of course this will depend on each partner to provide the data. Quality will be different, formats will be different, some might have great APIs to transfer data, Others will be emailing Excel files back and forth. And this gets exponentially more complicated when you consider that stores have dozens of produce from multiple distributors, which source from dozens of different farms. Now the complexity has probably grown past what a data engineering team can reasonably accomplish. So one of the appeals of a blockchain app is that there is one centralized application that can be used by all segments of the process to input their data creating a lineage for the product from farm to consumer. This is sort of an inadvertent solution. The blockchain part isn't particularly necessary. These are organizations with trust, and there will be some sort of application developer that builds and controls the connection to the backend. So really, you could swap out blockchain for any other data store. And the actual solution to the data share problem is they're all using the same data store. But the solution is probably temporary. As we've seen with cryptocurrency, eventually there will be numerous blockchain logistics solutions and different stores and distributors and farms will be using different blockchain apps. And then we're back to the same old problem. So it's interesting to see where the data industry goes. Lots of data silos with hopefully well-designed APIs for data engineers to build out complex pipelines. Or do we end up with third-party data transfer services, blockchain or otherwise, to try and break down the silos? Or will there be some other creative method to tackle the problem of data sharing? Comment below with what your predictions are. Even though I work with pipelines daily, I still constantly wonder why is this so freaking hard? Given all the crazy tech we have, it seems like it should just be easier. But hey, I have a job, so I guess that's cool. But if you want to get into more of blockchain as a potential data storage plan, be sure to check out this video to show the hurdles of blockchain as a database.